welcome to lecture 11 in this lecture we will proceed to do several examples on the acceleration analysis of systems of rigid bodies we will then investigate what we mean by by rolling motion and finally we will transfer on to rigid body kinetics a quick reminder about acceleration analysis in a previous lecture we derived the five term acceleration formula let me write it out for you but for that I will have to draw two coordinate systems so that's the observer coordinate system and there's another coordinate system which is attached to some rigid body and it is the BFCS of this rigid body let me make the observer coordinate system red so there's a point P which is being observed by both the BFCS coordinate system which as usual I will call E and the observer coordinate system which I usually call E0 and the 5 term acceleration formula related the acceleration of P as measured by the observer to the acceleration of P as measured by the BFCS of this rigid body and the formula was that the acceleration of P this is the one measured in the observer frame must be the acceleration of P measured in the BFCS plus omega B cross omega B cross R P G omega B was the angular velocity of the rigid body as measured by the observer similarly the body also has the angular acceleration alpha B continuing with the five term acceleration formula plus alpha B cross R P G plus 2 omega B cross V P rel V P rel is the velocity of P measured by the BFCS plus the acceleration of G that is the acceleration of this origin of the BFCS as measured by the observer frame so the examples that we will do of acceleration analysis will involve the usage of this formula this five term acceleration formula so let's begin with example one so the example that I have in mind is one that you have seen already in the context of velocity analysis you have the collar C being moved up or down the screw because of which the slotted arm which is connected to the collar through the pin B rotates up or down we have already in the context of the velocity analysis solved for the angular velocity of the slotted arm and now we are supposed to find its angular acceleration so let me remind us of our general strategy for systems with connected rigid bodies we usually find a convenient point and then write its motion in two different ways when we did velocity analysis we wrote the velocity of B in two different ways from the point of view of the ground frame and from the point of view of the slotted arm and that allowed us to generate an equation from which we could calculate the angular velocity of the slotted arm here we are asked for the angular acceleration the strategy remains the same we will still continue to focus on the convenient point B and we will try and write its acceleration now in two different ways I will note here that an acceleration analysis is done only after a velocity analysis and I will indicate why in the course of the analysis let me also remind you of the velocity analysis that we did in lecture 10 as part of that analysis we were able to derive the angular acceleration of the slotted arm to be this E3 was the unit vector outside the plane because this was a planar problem we also obtained equations for VB rel though we did not actually go ahead and uh, solve for this uh, expression but you can do so if you go back and refer to lecture 10 let us go ahead now and perform the acceleration analysis so that we can obtain the angular acceleration of the slotted arm so as part of the acceleration analysis we will be following the general strategy and we will be considering the convenient point B and write its motion in two different ways so here is the figure on the right which I have copied from the left the coordinate systems I have already detailed earlier on so let's write down the motion of B or rather the acceleration of B in two different ways so first way if I consider the motion of B by sitting 
in the green coordinate system the ground fist coordinate system then clearly AB is 0 because here on the left I have been given that VB is a constant ok so let's call this equation 1 the second way is to consider B while sitting in the BFCS of the slotted arm when we do that we will be measuring the relative acceleration of B with respect to the BFCS given that we have to now compute AB clearly we have to use the 5 term acceleration formula but to do that we have to map the points P, G to the question that we have over here so the second way consists of following B while sitting in the BFCS E and we will use the 5 term formula to relate the acceleration of B relative to the BFCS with the acceleration of B so here is the 5 term formula it relates the acceleration of P so clearly the point P is B the origin of the BFCS frame or the rotating frame in the 5 term formula is G over here it is O so G is O the observer frame over here had origin O while here it has the origin G so with these mappings we can write down the acceleration of the point B by using the 5 term formula to be AB rel plus omega of the rotating frame with respect to the observer frame cross omega of E with respect to E0 cross R B with respect to the origin of the BFCS which is O plus alpha E with respect to E0 cross R B O plus 2 omega E with respect to E0 cross V B rel plus acceleration of the origin of the BFCS which is O this is then equation 2 we can now combine the two ways of writing the acceleration of B 1 and 2 to get the formula that 0 must be equal to let's simplify this formula a bit by using information that we already have so for example AO is 0 as we can see on the left the point O is fixed to the ground we have been given formulas for omega r and vb rel so we can use them over here this formula let me remind you once again but derived as part of the velocity analysis so omega of e with respect to e0 is omega r which i can write as some scalar along e3 similarly vb rel over here is some scalar along e2 rbo is this length which is d over cosine theta along e2 we also know that alpha e with respect to e0 will be some scalar alpha b in the e3 direction because this is a planar problem let's now simplify this equation by using this information we will get 0 is equal to a b rel minus omega b square d over cosine theta in the e2 direction minus alpha b d over cosine theta in the e1 direction plus the Coriolis term which will be 2 omega b v rel capital E3 cross E2 so here is equation 3 this equation is a vector equation it has two components 2 because this is a planar problem how many unknowns do we have well here is one unknown alpha b we need to find that we also have a b rel it's a vector so it appears that it is consists of two unknowns but then we would have three unknowns and only two equations corresponding to the two components of this planar vector equation so what have we missed well we have not used the entire information given to us by this problem just as in the velocity analysis where we realize that vb rel can only be along the slot here too we need to realize that ab rel which is the acceleration of b when observed from the rotating bfcs of the slotted arm can only be along the slot so we realize that ab rel 
can only be along E2. So this vector quantity, we actually know the direction. We only don't know the magnitude. So therefore, this is actually just one unknown. So we have two unknowns here and two equations. So let's write it out again. 0 is equal to ARL along E2 minus omega B square D over cosine theta E2 minus alpha B D over cosine theta along E1 plus 2 omega B V rel E3 cross E2, E3 is out of the plane, E2 is in this direction, capital E3 is the same as small E3, so E3 cross E2 is minus E1. So that's my equation, let me call it 4. I need to obtain A rel and alpha b. That's very simple. Find A rel by taking equation 4 and dotting it with E2. This term will drop out and find alpha b which is the what we are after by taking equation 4 and dotting with E1 in which case E2 will drop out and the final answer that we get are here on the left. You can double check them. I am sure I would have made a few mistakes along the way but the general strategy is clear. We now move to example 2.